Here we have the dual denim. Right outside the heart. Yes. Dual denim. So like this, this tissue right here would be the parietal pericardium. Dual denim. And then the ilium. Pericardium is the same thing as the pericardium. Pericardium, okay. we don't see here. So now I'm going to open this right here. And this right here is the villi. Like this one, Professor? Villi. The microvioli are microscopic. So we don't really see the pericardium. You cannot see it. So then I'm going to go to the mesentery now. And this right here is the mesentery, and it's what holds them together. And lacteal is also uh, microscopic, so now we're going to move into the large intestine. So the large intestine has three components. You have the ascending colon, transverse colon, and descending colon. Imagine you have a balloon. Okay. okay, can you turn us so I could see the ascending? Okay, yes. The layer that's so, your ascending, that's visceral okay. transverse, okay. Okay. and, and descending space. colon. And, and then the right here, you'll have the sigmoid colon. You could actually see a better model right here. Sigmoid, which is an S shape. Okay. Sigmoid. Um, and then you have the cecum. So here you have the cecum, or you actually I like the small one. Cecum. Okay. And then after that is the rectum, which you can't really see it here, but you can see it better in the book. So this is the rectum right here. So after the sigmoid colon, it will become the rectum. And this right here is the anal canal. Okay, so then here we have um, the appendix. Here, the appendix. So which would be like right below the cecum. So the cecum is here, and then this is the appendix. And then um, the and then this is the pancreas right here. Pancreas. And the ileocecal uh, valve is here. Yeah. Okay. So then here we have. Uh, so right. Hepatic flexure, left splenic flexure, which is what it's happening. There, this, this, this part right here. Okay. This part. And then this is the right. Um, hepatic flexure, okay. which are, uh, you know, so the liver is here and the spleen is here. So then this right here is the transverse uh, mesocolon. So I'm going to put this in the human body to describe the parietal peritoneum, which is the space right here parietal peritoneum and then the visceral peritoneum would be right here and the visceral peritoneum is what's next to the organ and that's it for part four of the digestive system